I keep getting email requests offering SEO services. Should I look into one? Olivia, search engine optimization is the key to success for any internet supported business you have. I understand, but it all seems so complicated. I have no idea how it works. Can you offer any suggestions? Yes. Let me share with you some basic SEO tips. I think I can show you how to better understand SEO. There is a simple do it yourself tool that can help your online presence grow. Welcome back, YouTube community. Gabe here. Last week, we talked about your YouTube business and my tip for allocating your profit. Today, I would like to talk to you about search engine optimization. I would like to give you a super tool that can help you grow your online presence. Shall we begin? Olivia, why do you think you want to look into a service offering search engine optimization? I hear that SEO is important to grow your YouTube channel, and it can be critical to having a separate blog and web page. Is that right? You're more than correct. Let me try to explain search engine optimization. SEO is the foundation of your YouTube channel. Imagine you are building a house. The first thing you want to do is give it a good foundation. A solid foundation needs rebar. Reinforcement bars are set up before concrete is placed. Rebar keeps your foundation from crumbling over time. Once the concrete is placed, all manner of construction can be built on that solid foundation. Search engine optimization is the same thing. It is the rebar of web pages. Good SEO will help your YouTube videos be found by the most powerful search engines available. With good SEO, you can build a strong sustaining channel. Let me break down what SEO is. Let's begin with the words. Search. Engine. Optimization. The primary focus is search. People search for information on the internet. That information is found in web pages, images, and videos online. Imagine going into a library looking for a book. The first place you go is the card catalog. Now imagine looking for a book in 100 million libraries, but none of them have a card catalog. The task seems impossible. Today, the internet is basically the same as hundreds of millions of libraries with billions of books being added every day. The engine of SEO is the algorithm. An algorithm is a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations especially by a computer. On the internet, the engine is the process of searching through billions of books in hundreds of millions of libraries in order to find a single word or group of words that make sense to the person making the inquiry. Optimization is the process of placing information on your website to allow another person to find the thing they are searching for on your page as quickly as possible. I have heard of this algorithm. Isn't it really complicated? Yes. And it is way beyond the scope of what I can share today. But I will let you know that in the mid-90s, two brilliant young computer science students at Stanford came up with a way for computers to crawl around the world wide web and organize items they found. Those two students wrote about their research in the anatomy of a large-scale hypertextual web search engine. Their names were Sergey Brin and Lawrence Page. They called their program Google. That sounds like bathroom reading literature for another day. But how do I use SEO? The key to SEO is relevance. When you create a YouTube video, there will be a chance to give it a name, a description and keyword tags. Google uses web crawlers to find those items, then organizes the information on your page into a search index. The algorithm engine I showed you before, then sorts the information in the search index based on five major criteria. Meaning of the query. Relevance of web pages. Quality of content. Usability of web pages. Context and settings. The search index will also take into consideration misspellings. Let me give you an example. Imagine you are looking for tiramisu dessert. If all you do is put that into a search, you will get results for recipes for tiramisu dessert first. But then you will also get other questions about tiramisu, videos about the dessert, 
then locations where you can purchase the dessert, personal websites and blogs about tiramisu, and finally other desserts you may like that are similarly themed. The power of the search index algorithm is that even when the search is misspelled, the same criteria come up. The additional power is that results are centered around the location of the person making the search. You will not get results of restaurants in Italy if you're making the inquiry from Sydney, Australia. So how do you use that power? Of the five criteria I gave you, you have the most influence over number two, relevance of web pages. Having the most relevant title, description and tags will optimize your videos. And with advances in the development of the Google search index algorithm, it is best to be as specific as possible. Wow. That still seems all so complicated. I try to match my title, description and keywords to best explain my videos. Isn't that the way to do it? Yes. But I will give you a tool to use that can help you best maximize the title, description, and keywords. The tool is called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy will allow you focus on terms that are already being searched for on the internet. The better you are able to match well searched for terms, the better chance you have of being found. As you save your search terms, TubeBuddy will allow you to also search for keywords with greater relevance, and set up your description section to best optimize your video. The best part is that TubeBuddy will keep giving you tips until your channel is fully optimized. You can actually use TubeBuddy to help you find a more focused subject on which to create your videos. I will give a more detailed explanation of TubeBuddy in a later video, but for now, you can see the power of this tool. Please use my link, tubebuddy.com, slash starwelltax, in the description. You can sign up for TubeBuddy, and discover the features at your leisure. So if I use TubeBuddy, I can massage the titles, descriptions, and keywords on my videos in order to maximize my SEO potential. That really looks easy. I guess I can just keep sending those SEO emails to the spam folder where they belong. Thank you Gabe. You're welcome. In summary, SEO is the rebar of the internet. It is the solid foundation you need to build your channel. Of the five criteria the Google search index algorithm uses, the one you have the most control over is relevance. Using a tool like TubeBuddy can help you better focus your YouTube video's title, description and keyword tags in order to optimize your chance of being found in a search query. I hope what I shared can help you better understand your YouTube business, and how search engine optimization gives you the solid foundation for long-term growth. Please leave any questions in the comments section below. Let me know if there is a subject you would like to see a video on in the coming weeks. Please like and subscribe with a click to the thumbs up below. Have a great week. See you next week with more tips for your YouTube business. Cheers.